this is a video in my most asked questions series which is kind of aimed at new owners or people getting back into owning guinea pigs after a bit of a break but there's also lots of tips and advice in there for anyone who owns guinea pigs so I hope you'll find it useful. So it can be really frustrating or even disheartening if you have guinea pigs that you feel are terrified of you and that they're scared and they're always running away and hiding. If this is the case then don't worry there are lots of things that you can do to make them more confident and more tame around you. But first things first, let's answer that question. Why are guinea pigs scared? Well, when guinea pigs lived in the wild, they were targeted by a whole range of predators from birds, larger mammals, reptiles like snakes and lizards, everything was basically after them. <laughs> so they had to evolve these behaviours and these senses to increase their chance of surviving. And that's also why they lived in groups as there's always safety in numbers. So the main reason why guinea pigs are naturally scared is because they have these kind of inbuilt behaviours that um, tell them if they feel like they're in danger then they need to get out of that situation, they need to run and they need to hide. But on top of this we also need to remember that all guinea pigs are different, they are each have their individual personal personalities and some guinea pigs are just naturally more timid and more shy than others. So you might be feeling a bit frustrated if you say have a friend that's got guinea pigs and they are more confident and more tame than your own guinea pigs. Um, it could just be that there's down to differences in personalities. But there's also another reason why some guinea pigs might be scared and that's because you are being scary. <laughs> So um, I don't mean that in a mean way, but it does take time when you own guinea pigs to kind of subconsciously get used to the things that you do that scare them and the things that you do that they're fine with. So it's just kind of things like um, any sort of movements that you might make when you're around them or say reaching across the cage to get something. Movements like that are going to scare them and make them nervous whereas over time you might um, not even realise that you're doing it but you will behave differently around them so that they are more comfortable and less scared of you. So now let's get on to some things that you can actually actively do to help make them less scared. One thing you shouldn't do is make any sudden loud noises or sudden unannounced movements. Instead, talk to them gently, let them know when you are approaching the cage. If you're worried about loud sounds in the house, like the vacuum cleaner, then don't worry. They might be scared of things like this to start with, but the more they hear it, the more they'll get used to it and they won't be scared of it anymore. Obviously, don't keep them in a constantly really noisy environment because that's not good for them and that will stress them out. Next, associate yourself with food, which is always a good thing for guinea pigs. So you can hand feed when they're in the cage and eventually they will get to the stage, I'm sure all guinea pigs would, where they are confident enough to do this, jumping up for their food, which is very, very cute to see. If you want to hand feed, then vegetables are the way to go. You don't need to go and buy fancy treats and stuff from the pet shop. Guinea pigs are happiest and healthiest with fresh vegetables, which they should get every day anyway. So it's a really good opportunity to kind of do a bit of bonding with them and um, make them become a bit more tame and used to you. You can also hand feed during lap time. It's a really great way to make sure the piggies associate with you with something that they love and help make them more confident when they are out of the cage. Yes, piggy. Yes. Try not to scare them by chasing them around the cage continuously when you're trying to pick them up to handle them. If they keep getting away from you, try another way of picking them up or just give them a break and try again another day. Learning how to approach and pet them in the cage will make a massive difference, as will finding less traumatic ways of picking them up out of the cage, such as using a snuggle sack or something like a tea cosy. Or even just a blanket.
As you can see, using props is also a great way of putting them back into the cage safely so then they don't try and jump out of your hands and perhaps injure themselves. Also, don't let inexperienced people or children, unless they've had a lot of practice, get guinea pigs out of the cage. It's far less stressful for the piggies for you to get them out the cage and then hand them to the other person on their lap to hold. If it's an option, choose to keep them inside as indoor piggies naturally get more accustomed to human noises and goings on inside the house, so they're far more likely to be less scared of you. If you have to have outdoor piggies, then make sure you compensate by spending even more time bonding and taming with them. Also, keep them in groups. As I said in the introduction, guinea pigs in the wild live in herds because they feel like they have safety in numbers. So guinea pigs that live in groups will naturally feel more confident and less scared of you than a lone piggy would. If you do have to have a lone piggy, then make sure it is only temporary and that you spend extra time with them to make up for their lack of guinea pig company. And finally, don't give up on them. Lower your expectations of how quickly it's going to take and be patient. At the very least, taming guinea pigs takes weeks and it often takes months and months, even years with very, very scared piggies. But if you put the time and effort in, then you will be rewarded. So I hope you found this video useful. If you want any more information on taming and tips and things like that, then I do have two other videos, one on taming baby guinea pigs and one on the theory behind taming, which I've talked about some of the similar things in this video, but they'll appear on the screen at the end of the video. So go and check those out if you want to hear more tips and tricks that you can do. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. That's bye from me and bye from the piggies. Bye bye!